Hi, my loves. I hope everyone is doing well today. If you're new here and joining me for the first time, my name is Geraldine and I'm Diva Decorating. Welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back, loves. So guys, today I will be sharing a DIY with you on how to flock a reef with just three easy ingredients. Now you can also flock a tree or a garland as well. But today we're going to be doing a wreath. So if this is something that you would like to see, just keep on watching. So the first thing I'm going to do is be straightening out my stems to the way that I want my wreath to look. Now straightening the stems out is pretty easy because it is wire. So you can just easily bend them, fold them, do them any kind of way that you want to where they look like a reef. Now I will just stretch the circle part of the reef so it will look more uniform. Now I'll be taking my spackling and I'm going to put it in this disposable cup. So I'm gonna use about two forkfuls of the spackling. Now I'll add just a little bit of water to mix it up. Now your mixture should be the consistency of like a cake batter, but not too runny though. And I did add another forkful of the spackling to this and a little bit more water to make sure I had enough for my reef. Now this amount will do at least three to four wreaths, depending on how much you put on your wreath. So now that that's all mixed up, let's get to the fun part and flock our wreath. So this is where that trash bag will come in very handy. I am doing this on my kitchen floor, guys, because it is too cold outside and I do not have a garage. So I'm gonna take my mixture here and I'm gonna give it one more good stir and then I'm just gonna take my fork, and as you can see, I'm just dripping it and drizzling it on there. Now, in some areas, I might take the fork and just rake across it where I want more at to spread it out. But this is the whole technique of putting your mixture on your wreath. So all you're doing is just pouring or just taking your fork and spreading it out. Now, when you do this with the fork, it will splatter if you do rake it across. So that's what the bag comes in handy for. So as you can see, I'm just drizzling it on and I'm gonna go around the whole wreath like this. Now, if you want more in some areas, you can always put a little bit more or you can put a little bit less, depending on how you want your wreath to look, whether you want it to look fully flocked or halfway flocked. But I'm just going for not all over coverage. I'm just going for um, just like flocking in some areas. Now for our last ingredient, we're just gonna take our Epsom salt and we're gonna sprinkle it all over our wreath. Now, we're doing this while our mixture of spackling is wet. That way the Epsom salt will adhere to the spackling and it will give it a beautiful effect. Sprinkle as much Epsom salt or sprinkle as little Epsom salt as you would like the effect of your reef to have. Okay, so this is how it's looking and we're gonna let this dry for three to four hours to overnight, and then I'll come back and show you how it looks. So this is how our snow flock turned out. I think it came out absolutely beautiful. It's just the right consistency and effect that I was looking for. 
Now, as you can see, this is not like that fluffy snow. It's more like that wet snow when it first falls. And I absolutely love this effect. So what do you guys think? Is this a DIY that you would try? And here's another one. I love this DIY because it was fun and it was fast and easy and more importantly affordable because these were things that I already had on hand. Guys, thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope that you really enjoyed this quick and easy DIY. If so, please give it a like. Please give me a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And please share the video. Bye-bye, my loves.